So here is the actual box. This will come in when you receive it. It's really cute. It has these little ropes on there for the handles. And I'm going to just pull it out here. You see, we have a foam on the top for protection. And then this is the actual heater itself with the base. Have a little instruction manual here. Very clear. There is no plastic on top of this. You do have rubber at the bottom of the feet here and a little air vent. Standard cord. And then get to the mug. Really cute. You do have the perforated bottom so that when you place it on top of this, it will be very flat in the sense so it will get the maximum heat possible while using it. And then here is the lid. And whenever you are using one of these warmers for tea or coffee, it's always great to have a lid on there to trap all of the heat inside. And you have that cute little cat at the very top. And you have the little flowers on here. Flowers on the back as well. So push the button. Long press. All right, it's not coming on. Let's just put the beverage on top. Now press it on. There we go. Now you need to have the actual um, cup on the base and you push it again. Take it off. It turns off and it comes back on. So now it's automatically turning on and off when you lift the cup up and turn the cup and leave the cup on there by itself. Now it does not get like out of the coffee maker hot it does get hot enough where i have to blow it a little bit everybody's temperature is different on what they definitely want to have but it does make your beverage hot mine is just tea i don't drink coffee at all and yeah you basically just use your spoon or whatever stir up stuff in there and when you're done drink it and yeah i have no stains or anything from my tea which is really really good but um but yeah i do like this it is really cute